Hello and welcome to this Valentine's Day edition of Adobe Illustrator. My name is Mr. Groff and uh, to get started go ahead and open up Illustrator. We're going to click on print document. We'll name this one Rose since we'll be creating a rose in this lesson. And we're going to leave it at eight and a half inches by 11 inches tall for the height. And make sure the orientation is on portrait. And also make sure you are on inches and click OK. We're going to start out by selecting the polar grid tool. To get there you're going to left click and hold on the line segment tool and then go to the bottom and you're going to select the polar grid tool. That's going to be our rows. So you're going to left click and drag out and we'll just do, we'll just start out with some one big rows. So go ahead and make it that size. Next thing we're going to do is use the gradient tool. So you're going to go to the gradient here. And if you don't have it, you can go to Window and select Gradient. Or press Control F9. That's the shortcut. So we want to fill in a color for our rows. And right now I don't have a fill color. So I'm going to select Red. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the Color tab, and if you don't have the Color tab, you can go to Window and select Color, or hit F6. To get the colors on the gradient, you have to drag them from the Color tab down to the gradient here. And also, if you can't see your gradient, you have to click right here and do Show Options, and that'll bring it so you can see where it says, uh, where it has your gradient box. So go up to the color tab, if you don't see it, you click on this little box and select show options. And we're going to select red. If you want your rose to be another color, that's fine. What you do is left click and then drag the color down to the gradient. And you'll see that it applies the gradient here. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to select this one on the right. And I'm going to pick a different color, like a purple. And I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag that down to the right side. And as you can see, the gradient has changed now. And for my gradient type, I'm going to select radial. There we go. So I've selected, I use the selection tool to click on the polar grid and then I just clicked on the gradient and it applied it. And you can always mess with these to change the color of it. If you want more of a red you can drag this over to the right. And it'll do different things and you can set it up however you'd like. Once you have that, make sure that you have the polar grid selected and you're going to go up to Effect and then you're going to select Distort and Transform and as you can see right here it says Illustrator Effects. If you go down here, these are Photoshop effects. You don't want that. So under Effect up here, you go to Distort and Transform and you're going to select Tweak and check the preview box and you can move these to adjust how you want your rows to look. The more you move it to the right, the more of a percentage, the more it will distort it. So you can mess with the horizontal and the vertical settings. Once you get it where you like, click OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply an inner glow to the rings. So we need to use the direct selection tool and you're going to select the rings individually here. So select one of the rings, go to effect, go to stylize under illustrator effects and then select inner glow 
and I'm just going to leave everything on the default if you want to change it you can and you can click preview to see what it'll look like and then click OK and you're going to repeat that for each of the rings so effect stylize inner glow and as you can see it gives it a very nice effect for the rows here there we go so once you have all that done you can go ahead and copy it so you go to edit copy once it's selected and then go to edit paste and you could paste it so you'll have multiple roses and you could fill up this whole thing let's see I'm gonna hit control C and control V I'll get five on here if you want to make them smaller you could have a dozen roses and you could also go back and you could change the colors on it as well once you have that done and you have them all aligned the way you want them go to file save as we're gonna save this as rows in our illustrator folder so I'm on the 506 period my folder and illustrator rows.ai for Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to hit save and click OK here and that's it I'm done